It's been two years since 96-year-old Violet Alberts, a Montecito woman, was murdered at her home. I'm Juliette Lamar, your community reporter in Santa Barbara, where detectives have made a break in the case. I've got new details about the investigation, potential motive, and who's been arrested so far. On May 27, 2022, 96-year-old Violet Alberts was found dead in her longtime Montecito home. A broken window indicated home invasion, the cause of death, asphyxiation. And for nearly two years, investigators from Santa Barbara County to Los Angeles have been working to find those responsible. And this case is the finest example that I have ever seen of a whodunit murder with absolutely no information at front, up front. Santa Barbara County Sheriff Bill Brown spoke about the murder for hire case on Thursday, saying they believe the main suspect, Paulina Marchiano, gained Albert's trust under the guise of helping her reverse mortgage her home. Brown says instead, Marchiano was gaining access to Albert's property and assets through a real estate fraud scheme. Several more arrests have been made this year in connection with Albert's murder. Harry Basmagian was arrested on January the 2nd, 2024, for his involvement in the conspiracy to murder Violet Alberts. Henry Rostomian was arrested on February 27th for conspiracy to murder and murder charges. And lastly, Ricardo Martin Del Campo was arrested on March the 5th, 2024. Sheriff Brown shared that prior to Albert's death, Rostamayan and Del Campo made a scouting trip to her home on May 24th, 2022, just days before the murder occurred. All three men are currently in custody. Marchiano was arrested in 2022 and is now serving a six-year sentence for fraud charges. But Brown says additional charges may still be filed. Would you say the community involvement was essential in solving the case? Oh, of course, 100%. In this case especially, once the information uh, was starting to be released to the public, the public was very, very involved. The connection between all four suspects is still under investigation. If you have any information regarding the case, you can go to ksby.com for information on how to submit tips. In Santa Barbara, Juliette Lamar, KSBY News.